Well, good Saturday evening, everybody. We are coming to you today from Greensboro, North Carolina, and we're going to be trying out Stamey's Barbecue. You see the sign behind us. We have uh, watched another review on this place. I've known about it for years. Uh, we are actually right across the street from the Greensboro Coliseum. So that's actually why we're down here tonight. Uh, I was at the Greensboro Coliseum back in 2015 for the ACC tournament. Saw this place then, the line was out the door, um, but uh, the line's not out the door tonight. So we're gonna go in here to Stamey's Barbecue and check it out. Are you ready? I'm ready. So we are here at Stamey's Barbecue in Greensboro. We are right across the street from the venue you see, right over there, this is the Greensboro Coliseum. I was here in 2015 for the ACC tournament, That what a time that was. Uh, we are here tonight for a different reason. So tonight we are going to a political rally uh, for one of the candidates for president of the United States. Now, we've always said we're not gonna endorse a presidential candidate on this channel. But just like anybody else, we have the right to support who we believe is the best candidate. That's what we're here to do. And I will tell you this much, even though I won't say who it is, I can go in this rally tonight, and if I want to say Jesus is Lord or Christ is King, I'm not going to be told I'm at the wrong rally, and I'm not going to be escorted out by, by security. And this is not the small rally down the street. This is actually the biggest venue in town. So uh, that's where we're going to be tonight. And just for the, by the way of fairness, we actually wanted to attend a rally of both candidates just for the for the experience. Um, the other candidate did not have a scheduled rally at our driving distance at a time we could go. This one did. So anyway, I would have gone to both, taken in both experiences, even though we obviously have our firm beliefs just like anybody else. But that's why we're here tonight. And we're going to have supper right over here at Stamey's Barbecue. Uh, heard a lot of great things about it. So we're going to go check it out. And also in the next smaller building, uh, the side of the main Coliseum is the ACC Hall of Champions. And I'll just be honest with you, I liked it a lot better when the ACC tournament was here in Greensboro most years. This is right in the heart of ACC country here in Central North Carolina. All right, so I'm looking forward to trying this place. And their hours are Monday through Saturday, 11 to 9, and they are closed on Sunday. And that is good advice right there. Drink your wine. As you walk in, they've got t-shirts and hats available for purchase. So it's the seat we yourself. We have secret service behind us. Or is that the Green is it Secret Service or Greensboro Police? It says Secret Service. Oh. Cool, man. All right. So. Well, walk in front of me. So seat yourself. So I'll oh, follow you. Oh, seat yourself. Okay. All right. Let's walk through here then. Would you rather have a booth or a table? Don't matter to Let's me. Let's sit over here by the window. All right. So let me get an overview of the inside here. Yeah, that's any of those is fine. Just one that's not got the sun blaring in. So let's look over the menu right quick. And here's the back side of the menu. We both ordered chair wine to drink. So that's just the greatest soda that's ever been invented. And there is the address. So here is chair wine. That is a cherry soda. It's not really a cherry cola. It's a little bit more cherry than what you would get from a Coke or a Dr. Pepper. And that is a North Carolina invention. It's very good. And it should be everywhere. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I know you can get it in other states. Uh, when your cousin came down from Minnesota in 2017, they actually went back home. They liked it so well and found it yeah. in a store in Minnesota. So that's good. The world should know about chair wine. Mm -hmm. So let's feature those sauces. Let's see what kind of... We're 
in Greensboro, this is kind of about the divine line where you have the real sauce and then the vinegar sauce. So, so that, this is Stamey's Barbecue. Thank you. Oh, I should have told you, we're probably going to have a peach cobbler for dessert. It's okay. Okay, all right. I wouldn't order it now anyway. Yeah, depending on how we feel. Okay. Uh, so this is Stamey's Barbecue Smokehouse Hot Sauce. That looks vinegary. Slight kick vinegar tangy, and you can right. see it slinging around. All right, so for the three people that like vinegar, I'm, I know it's a lot more than that. And then this is their mild dip tangy vinegar pepper. That looks too vinegary too. And it's off. <laughs> Turn around. Okay. And then they just have ketchup and Texas feet. Uh, I have to ask yes, her. Yes, I'm going to have to ask Okay, so she's going to go get me some of the sauce that is in the chicken. That is a tomato base. Um, I told her that the video we watched from the A Fun Seekers, uh, that Chaz brought out that sauce. So that's the kind I want. So there's the beans, there's the hush puppies, there's the chicken, there's the pulled pork or chopped pork. And you got, what'd you get again? Slaw chicken? Chicken, and it's got its own sauce. Yeah. But it's We're trying to mix it up a little. We've been to a lot of barbecue places as of late. So anyway. We're trying to just kind of mix it up as to what we get. So how is the chicken? Are you going to wait on some sauce for it? Chicken's in like a vinegar. It's not hot, but you can catch that bite. So is the slaw's got some type of vinegar in it, too, because you can feel that bite. Okay, so how do you like it? No, it's good. I mean, I'm not wild about vinegar stuff, but that's just the kind that it is here. Try a hush puppy. Good. Okay. So she just brought some regular sauce. Yeah, this is a tomato base, so that's what's going on my pork. And you said yours already has vinegar. If you want that other cup, go ahead and take that. Okay. Um, so you got the pork and the chicken. Yes. Beans and. And that's really they don't have brisket on the menu, so mm -mm. or ribs. I didn't see ribs. Uh, have to look again but it's basically pork or chicken so I wanted to try both so I like those beans I really like those those are good hush puppies good hush puppies like good Chicken is a quarter piece. Looks like a breast and a wing. It is. Get a little more sauce on that. And they actually have the chicken in the regular tomato mm -hmm. sauce already. I'm happy all the way around. Oh, good. Good. All right. You might want to try that other sauce just in. So, just to prove that YouTube does work. By virtue of the video we watched on this place, we decided to try the cobbler. You got the strawberry. Yeah. Okay. And I got the peach. And I thought that looked really good. So do you want to give that a try and see what you think of it? <clears throat> So you got vanilla ice cream with that, so mm -hmm. I guess that adds a little something to it as well. Mm -hmm. Now, it, I'm not seeing a lot of bread or breading in it, which is one of the things I don't really like about cobbler. I did get it today because I noticed it wasn't heavily breaded. It's or just, I just got, missing it. looks like some pieces just kind of mixed in there. It doesn't that's, have like one good. big old piece on top. <clears throat> yeah. I've had some cobbler where the breading is so thick, it's more than the fruit. I don't like yeah. it like that, so that looks good like that. Mm -hmm. Peach cobbler. Get a little ice cream on that. Let me get a little bit without the ice cream. That's really good. Mm -hmm. There is breading in it. Uh, it's a little hard to see, but it's not overdone. Over, yeah, you get yeah. pieces in there. Yeah, so that's that's about right right there. Yeah. I think that's a really good choice. I might, if you'll let me, try a bite of your of strawberry. Of course you, you may try. try. Out of this Go ahead, well. try. Yeah, I like that too. I like it, yeah. yeah. 
Do you want to try a bite of this? I will try a bite of yours here in just a moment. Okay, our total today, and that is adding two desserts, comes to forty dollars and ninety-seven cents. I just finished up here at Stamey's Barbecue, Greensboro, North Carolina. So our first time trying this. And I'll let you go first, tell what you got and what you thought of everything. So it's a nice building. Uh, the lady who waited on us, I think her name was Sissy, by what it said on the uh, receipt. She was very nice and very helpful. Um, I got the chopped chicken cue. Um, it comes with slaw and hush puppies. You, I could have changed the size, but I just thought, well, I'll just leave it as such. So it's basically the chicken, like you had, just chopped up and they put it in there vinegar sauce. It's not hot, like a hot, spicy, just vinegar, vinegary. And I'm not big on the vinegar sauces. The slaw had a vinegar tang to it, wang, whatever you want. I don't know how, what's the correct thing to say there um, as well. So I kind of mix the chicken and the barbecue, <clears throat> excuse me, the chicken and the slaw together to kind of yeah. get it down a little bit. And then she did give us some tomato based sauce, which was a little more helpful too. And then I would take a bite of a hush puppy. So <clears throat> yeah. when you're eating one meal a day, it's kind of like you want to make sure and eat it because we're not close to home right now. Um, if you like this kind of barbecue, I'm sure it'd be very good and you would enjoy it. I just prefer the Western North Carolina sweet, smoky barbecue. Okay, would you like the hush puppies and the cobbler? Yeah, I was going to say the hush puppies were good. Yeah. Those are kind of universal. And the cobbler was really good. And she, I didn't realize that the bottom of it uh, like is half ice cream and then half cobbler. So they give you a lot of ice cream in that. Yeah. But yeah, the, the cobbler was good. I had some of his peach. It was good. And I enjoyed my strawberry. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, and again, there's no, there's no North Carolina style barbecue. It's divided up in the Western. I call it Western. It's technically, I guess, Lexington style. And then there's Eastern North Carolina. Now, Eastern North Carolina is known for vinegar sauce. Western North Carolina is known for tomato-based sauce. So we're in Greensboro, and that's the point in the state where you start asking questions, okay, because it can go either way. Uh, pretty much east of Greensboro is where you're going to really get into the vinegar stuff. And west, again, this is kind of like right on the line. So uh, I did notice the two they had on the table were vinegar-based, but I also remember from the video I watched that there was a tomato base, so I did request that. It's the same thing that the, uh, the chicken comes in. If you get the quarter chicken it's the same thing that that's uh, cooked with on it mm -hmm. so uh, she was very kind to bring out two more of those I really liked mine all the way around I got the hush puppies for one side like those I thought the beans were good did you get beans no okay uh, I thought the beans were good and my pulled pork was really really good it was moist and that's the thing about uh, any type of meat I don't like dry meat now the chicken it was moist enough. It was good. It was moist enough, but I would not have wanted it to be any drier than it was. If it had been, I would have had to say the chicken was dry, but it was kind of where it was still really, really good. Um, but the pulled pork was outstanding. I think between the two, I do prefer the pulled pork. Uh, next time, I would probably just get the pulled pork plate. Uh, as far as that goes, I thought the cobbler was outstanding. I thought the peach cobbler was really good. I took a bite of her strawberry. It was really good. So I really don't have any complaints i've been wanting to try this place uh i'm glad i got to i would come back come again if i were like at a basketball game or a rally or whatever an event over in this coliseum area of greensboro i would definitely uh come across and eat here the service was good i don't really have any complaints i, I enjoyed it so um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and find and follow us on Facebook. Have a blessed day.